Remember to hit that bell icon for instant notifications on fresh videos and brand new content. I am Malayali and I am Ida Gujarati, which obviously means I have low self-esteem. <laughs> like I feel sometimes I'm starring in my own reality show, you know, like Big Boss, Baroda, Survivor, Surat, Jhalak Diklaja, Jamnagar. In fact, I just finished my autobiography, Who Moved My Dhokla? <laughs> Best seller. Married women, just raise your hands. Just uh, no, I'm not, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> How long have you been married? Nine years. Was it a love marriage or arranged marriage? And uh, do you have in-laws? Do they like you? <laughs> no, I mean it's important to ask. You know. <laughs> Your mom-in-law likes you. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> okay. There's therapy for delusion. <laughs> so this is the thing. My, my mother was obviously very attached to my husband, obviously, no, because she owned him first. <laughs> and the great thing about her is like that she's a cross between Sherlock Holmes and Shikari Shambhu. Huh? But the Gujarati version, okay? So when we were first married, she used to call my husband 10 times a day. Like it used to be 12, but she didn't want to come through as overbearing, you know? So 10 times a day, she used to call and ask after his mental and physical health, his emotional well-being, what he did that day, what he plans to do, what he ate that day, what he plans to eat, if we had sex, we plan to have sex. You know, usual motherly concerns. And every time I even attempted to hold my husband's hand, it's like, pum, pum, din, 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 mom calling, what? How the, when the, why the, oh, for God's sake? So now, needless to say, the moment has gone. The mood has passed. The flames of desire have burnt out. And as a result, neither of us get any action. We are the most celibate married couple I know. So whenever she says, Anu, any good news? No, because you're still calling. <laughs> then she goes into a bad network zone for two days. Bam, nine months later, Ayan Mehta is born. <laughs> He's half Malayali, half Gujarati. Genetics has laughed at him enough so we don't have to. <laughs> so, uh, your mother-in-law gets you gifts and all? Huh? Uh, just sit. Yeah. Did you have kids? Oh, uh, one, one kid. Two kids, two kids. So your mother-in-law is extra happy with you? No, no, that, no, that's, it's, it, that's good. When, and what do you call her? Mummy, of course you do. Pavitra Bharati Anari with the Alok Nath seal of approval. See, now this is the problem. When I was dating my husband, na, I used to call them auntie and uncle. But now it's not going to miraculously change overnight, no? Just because we're married. And I know that my Guju in-laws would have liked nothing better than for me to say things like, Kimcha mummy, Kimcha papa. But I felt like I was cheating on my parents. Right? So I was like, I'm not going to say it until I mean it, right? In, in a good way. So, when we were first married, she wanted to go out, my mom-in-law. And uh, so I called the car and driver and I said, Kumar, gadi leke aana. Auntie niche aari hai. Why auntie? Say mummy niche aari hai. Hello Kumar. Gadi leke aana. Anirudh ki mummy niche aari hai. I'm not in her will. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm an only child and I never liked her diamonds anyway. So. <laughs>